Hello my beautiful friends and welcome back to my channel. So for today I have my beautiful and lovely husband here assisting for a basic video that I want to do today. Today we're going to speak about possibilities of breathing so you guys understand a little bit round about what for kind of ways you can breathe when it comes to singing. Don't forget to subscribe, please put on the notification bell, it's still 90% of you watching but not subscribing, that's really really sad, so please thumbs up, notification bell, and I'm also on Instagram. When it comes to breathing and singing, this is something that we can fix quite fast because it's visible to us. There are a lot of other things that you can't fix because they're not really vis re very visible to us. And these are mechanisms that go on uh, within your voice box. So things that you not see, it's gonna get a little bit hard and tough. But something like fixing the breath that can cause you a lot of trouble, cracking, uh, subclitical pressure, too much tension, uh, flat pitches, whatever you want to think of, sometimes it can't be the breath. Now one way that you all know is the belly breathing or the diaphragmatic breathing. Um, everyone who don't know who the di where the diaphragm is, that is that really really big thick muscle that just goes around your body. It's really thick, it's really big. I'm just gonna blend in a picture here one more time so you can see. Many people don't know where the diaphragm is. Many times they are trying to, oh, the diaphragm, it's one muscle, but I'm not really sure which one it is. So there you go, it's that really, really big, thick muscle that divides your chest area for your tummy area, just to say it really, really plainly. Now, when it comes to that type of breathing, breathing now, Number one is the healthiest, the best way that you can go for is the belly breathing. Now what happens is, Tiago, I want you to breathe in through your nose. Maybe you can turn yourself to the side so we can see how Tiago bellies expand. Now what we want to do is we want to breathe in through our nose and make sure that the diaphragm lowers and expands and makes room for us to have a moderate amount of breath. It's not about inhaling. You're not a pearl diver, so don't inhale like you're about to dive in for six minutes to get some pearls, right? It's all about having the moderate amount of breath, and I will explain in a second why. Okay, so Tega, I just want you to breathe in through your nose. Make sure that you expand your tummy, you get loose of your tummy. Don't hold on to your tummy. That's what a, a lot of young girls are doing. They're holding on to their tummies. They're really tough and they cannot get loose. That just creates tension and you don't want to go for that kind of tension, okay? So make sure you breathe in through your nose and then you see that his tummy expands here very, very well, yeah? Now, um, it's... If you feel your tummy expands, that is the right way. You don't want to hold on. You don't want to get your core muscles be tense. So if you have time, breathe in through your nose. Let's make it one more time. Can you breathe in through your nose and make sure that your tummy goes up so that kind of area goes up very well. Okay, very good. Now this is the best way that we want to go for when we sing. Um, depends on which technique you use. Of course there are all kind of different ways of breathing. Uh, in Germany there is Sola, Luna, there's all kind of ways. Now the second one is the rib cage breathing. So what will happen and now you can even turn around. Now this is a common thing with dancers because they use all of their core muscles, they use all of their belly muscles here for dancing. So they need that kind of stability from their core. They need their core muscles. They have to keep them tense. Now what they do is that they are breathing into the rib cage and not really actively into their tummy though. So it's just one way of breathing is that ribcage breathing. So you really feel how it expands in that area without really dropping your belly, yeah? without really keep your belly uh, round. Yeah, maybe you can hold on to both with your both arms. Exactly, and breathe in. Okay. Yeah, but it's not really that your chest is, it's not that your chest is expanding a lot. So it's not gonna be. Yeah. I know, but I never did this kind of breathing. Okay, you did well. So that's actually very well that he said that. I'm not going to uh, cut that out. Now, it takes some sensibility when it comes to singing because we speak about very fine muscles, very fine motoric coordination uh, stuff. So you have to sens be, be sensible, listen to what's going on to your body. Now, it's really fine tuning is you put your you're putting uh, your hands around your waist area and just feel how they expand and make room. So that is breathing number two. 
And number three is the balance breathing. So we do the rib cage breathing and we do the belly breathing. And it's also used in opera or it's a common breathing and opera of the balance breathing because you really get the moderate amount that you want. You get your full capacity that you need. Now there is one way of breathing I want to show you that we don't want to go for. It's a no for that breathing. And that is the clavicular breathing. And why is the clavicular breathing? Obviously, because of the clavicular or claviculare or the Latin word for it. So the clavicular here, and because you're raising actively your shoulders and you are sucking your tummy in and you're raising your chest, that is something that we don't want to do. That kind of breathing creates tension. Now, whenever there's tension going on in singing, it's a big, big no-no. Whenever that we have tension in the uh, pharyngeal area and the elevator muscles, all of the muscles that go on here or in the core or whatever you can think of, that is an end result of creating tension and the vocal folds. So that, that's something we don't want to do. There is a reason why people say be relaxed, relax yourself when you start to sing. Because if you just get home um, from a really cold snowstorm and you just hop right into singing and you feel like your muscles are all stiff, you are stiff, believe me, you have to put, a mu put much more effort than uh, you would need without relaxing those muscles. So, now I want you to breathe in and suck your tummy in. So it's going to be that your chest is going to, yeah. So you see, or maybe you can do it also from the side one more time so we can kind of, yeah. Very well. So what he's doing, he's kind of like, like those guys on the beach that just try to impress some girls that, you know, they come across and they're like, I have to suck my tummy in. Keeping your tummy sucked in will not give you any freedom of singing and all girls have a big problem with that especially young girls that come here in the studio um, they don't want to let go of their body they don't want to uh, hang loose now of course these are all shortcut explanations please have in mind that this is a YouTube video average time is like three minutes uh, of viewing so there it's not a lot of in-depth information but enough information for you to keep going from where we are now and dig a little bit deeper into all kind of breath mechanism if you want to sing high notes and you want to belt then you want, might want to go for the for the clavicular breathing or uh, if you are looking for more opera and you want to use some breath management or whatever comes in your mind. Now, I hope that you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Please don't forget to watch all my other videos on this channel and I wish you a wonderful, wonderful week ahead and thank you so much for tuning in. It's enough bad breathing. I see you in my next video.